November 14, 1969. Just four months after humanity's first steps on another world, the world watched again. Apollo 12 stood poised for launch, a testament to ambition and engineering. But this launch was different. A violent thunderstorm raged, threatening to ground the mission. Yet, the decision was made. Launch. As the mighty Saturn V rocket ascended, lightning struck. Twice. The spacecraft was momentarily crippled, its systems flashing red with warnings. For a terrifying minute, the mission hung in the balance. Quick thinking from Mission Control and the crew, particularly Alan Bean, saved the day. They reset critical systems, bringing Apollo 12 back online. Despite the harrowing start, Apollo 12 pressed on. Its primary objective, a pinpoint landing in the ocean of storms near the Surveyor 3 probe. This was a challenge far exceeding Apollo 11's broad target. Commander Pete Conrad and Lunar Module Pilot Alan Bean executed a flawless touchdown. They landed within walking distance of Surveyor 3, demonstrating unprecedented navigational accuracy. Apollo 12 spent over 31 hours on the lunar surface. Conrad and Bean conducted two extensive spacewalks, collecting samples and deploying scientific instruments. They even retrieved parts from Surveyor 3. This mission was more than just a follow-up. Apollo 12 proved America's growing mastery of space exploration, solidifying humanity's foothold on the moon and paving the way for future lunar endeavors.